Hi everybody, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com doing a 2019-20 Panini Contenders Basketball two box break. Pick your team number six where we'll be taking the 29 spots that are already purchased and randomizing the Pelicans for free to one spot. Here is the list of customers from Matt with the first, uh, or Matt all the way down to Brock Pine. In the middle here, you'll see the spot where the Pelicans would be filled. We're gonna go ahead and delete that and randomize it to one person. We're gonna do a virtual dice roll to see how many times we're gonna do the randomizer. And it's a one and a three, four times. So one, two, three, and fourth and final time. Good luck, everyone. Matt Silverstein gets the Pelicans for free. Congrats, Matt. Now let's see if it can pay off in the break for you. Perfect. And there's Matt's free spot in the New Orleans Pelicans. Congrats. Now let's get ripping and see what we can find for you guys. And there are the remaining two boxes from the case that we've been doing these two box breaks from. Here's our list. Sean Maddock with the Last Spot Mojo with the Cleveland Cavaliers, as well as the Minnesota Timberwolves. And then Matt Silverstein, oh, and the Philadelphia 76ers. So three spot, Last Spot Mojo. And then Matt Silverstein there with the New Orleans Pelicans. So you can see these are marked number four. We just did boxes five in Pick Your Team five. Good timing to chase all the rookies, especially with the restart of basketball coming in about a week. I don't remember if it starts officially on the 30th or the 31st, but... Yeah, it just kind of pops for you. If I say Will Christian Fitch, you'll both think that I'm yelling, I'm talking to you. It's also a, it sounds like a good question, kind of. Will Christian Fitch? It could be a band. Sounds like a, sounds like a question. There you go. I hope so too. It make me it make me look that much cooler.
So does the uh, the Yankees Nationals game? Does that get played at a different uh, uh, finished at a different date or or what? I mean, it's already a shortened season. Can they really shorten it by by one more game again? P.J. Washington for the Hornets and Kyle Koch. Cam Reddish, lottery ticket. Atlanta Hawks and Matt Schirra. Denver Nuggets, quads. To Darren McKenzie. Oh, they called it, and Yankees got the win. MVP contenders, Russell Westbrook. Kobe White, lottery ticket for the Bulls and Eric Sansala. Ignas Brazikis, rookie ticket auto for the New York Knicks and John McCall. Ooh. Legendary contenders autograph, Hall of Famer David Robinson. That's numbered out of 49. 21 out of 49. San Antonio Spurs and Steve Locke. Nice. Superstar, die cut Giannis Antetokounmpo. Milwaukee Bucks, Nancy Ripple. Tyler Harrow, lottery ticket. Miami Heat and Sergio and Tiso. Miles Turner, playoff ticket to 199 for the Indiana Pacers and Nancy Ripple. John Morant, lottery ticket for the Memphis Grizzlies and Matt Chirac. Jaleel Okafor, semi-final tickets to 149 for the Pelicans, going to Matt Silverstein in his free spot. I found a stat this morning. We always talk about like Garrett Cole, obviously pretty good pitcher, right? I found this thing this morning on Randy Johnson. Over a three-game period, he had three complete games where he had a total of, between the three games, he had 43 strikeouts. Forty-three strikeouts and gave up one run in the first, two in the second, and one in the third, and got three losses. Pretty rough. Twenty-seven innings, forty-three strikeouts, four runs total, and did not get a single win.
And then people are like, well, it was, it was the Mariners. Wrong. It was when he was playing with the Diamondbacks. Does anybody think of, you know, a better streak of performances with a worse result? had a combined no hitter I think at at the Dodgers if I remember back in the day like a couple like maybe five years ago or so but I think it's been a couple times when somebody's thrown a no hitter through nine but it's gone to extras and either they or the team has lost But if I remember correctly, I want to say the Angels did it. They had a combined no-hitter. And I think they lost at Dodger Stadium. For some reason, I'm thinking that that happened. I could be making it up, though. Miles Turner, playoff ticket, 199. Indiana Pacers and Nancy. Cameron Johnson, rookie of the year contender. Phoenix Suns. Scott. Jarrett Tickle, uh, Jarrett Culver, playoff ticket, auto, to 99 for the Minnesota Timberwolves, and Sean Maddock, last spot mojo. D'Angelo Russell, conference finals ticket, to 125 for the Golden State Warriors, and Sarah Bernard. Rookie of the Year contenders, DeAndre Hunter, Atlanta Hawks, and Matt Schra. Zion Williamson, lottery ticket. New Orleans Pelicans, and Matt Silverstein in his free spot. Team Quads, Houston Rockets, Nancy. Jarrett Culver, lottery ticket. Minnesota and Sean. Chicago Pools, Team Quads, going to Eric. That, that was at Dodger Stadium, right, Joe? I think the best, one of the best things in life is communication. You know, no matter Ooh, what, redemption. Any guesses? Anybody remember who's a redemption in this? I want to say the combined no-hitter was Weaver and somebody, or Skaggs and somebody. Jackson Hayes, Joe. Darius Garland, lottery ticket. Going to Cleveland and Sean Maddock.
Utah Jazz, Team Quads, Anthony Titra, Kobe White. It was Weaver and Arredondo. So it was Weaver. Did Weaver go the... He went eight, right, Joe? Or was it seven? I'll have to look at the, bo the, the box score after this. 2019 Playoff Contenders. Rookie Variation Season, season Ticket Premium. Anybody any idea? Any idea? Season Ticket Premium? He went six. Card 116. And. S. E. K. O. U. Seiko Dumboya. Detroit Pistons. And Scott Blackwell. Anybody know what the uh, season ticket premium edition is numbered out of? No matter what it's numbered out of, that's going to Scott Blackwell. Congratulations. And everybody, that was 2019-2020 Panini Contenders Basketball. Two box break. Pick your team number six. I'm Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.